Floodwaters are once again forcing Knox County Schools to close eight of its schools. A.L. Lots Elementary, Bluegrass Elementary, Cedar Bluff Elementary, Cedar Bluff Middle, Cedar Bluff Pre-K, North Shore Elementary, Pond Gap Elementary, and West Valley Middle will all be closed tomorrow. All other schools will open an hour late. 10 News reporter Stephanie Haynes is live outside of district headquarters in downtown Knoxville with the latest. Stephanie. Robin and Brandon, I just spoke to Knox County Schools. They said they made this decision because they want to keep the most of the district in class while keeping the people who are impacted by the floodwaters safe, but it's still hard on parents. If they're off tomorrow, they're off tomorrow, and that's just the way it is. I mean, again, safety first. Tracy Delarco is a parent of two Cedar Bluff Elementary School kids. The last few days have been tricky. So I work full time. My husband works full time. Luckily, he works in an office with no one else there. So they were able to go with their dad two of the days this week, but it's boring for them. So Wednesday, she took the day off work and took her kids to Chuck E. Cheese. But Thursday will be another day. Knox County Schools announced it will close the same eight schools and put the rest of the district on a one hour delay. That, it says, is for better visibility for drivers. KCS says it has 10 days for weather cancellations built into its calendar. Right now, the district has had seven days, and by the end of tomorrow, the eight schools will have had nine. KCS says if any school runs out of days, they will appeal to the state and come up with a plan. DeLarco says she's glad the district is taking safety seriously. The roads are so flooded over in our area, Cedar Bluff, so. I'm glad that school is closed because I wouldn't want the buses driving through the puddles. Again, those same eight schools are closed again tomorrow when the rest of the district is on a one hour delay. We'll send it back to you guys. All right, Stephanie Haynes with the update. Thank you very much.